Hey guys, back here with another quick video. This time I'm just going to talk about the video low light quality of the iPhone 5S versus a standard point and shoot digital camera. Now I know, you know, the iPhone is an iPhone first. It's a phone first and a camera second. I do understand that. But I'm just demonstrating the capabilities of a standard point and shoot. Now the iPhone 5S has a pretty decent camera. That's pretty good low light. I mean, it's not going to be like a, you know, standalone dedicated camera per se, as you'll see in a second. It does pretty good for what it is, though. I think the 5 and the 5S have similar cameras and sensors. This just happens to be the gold one. So the iPhone camera isn't too bad. I mean, it gives you, you know, video and still imagery. Tap and zoom. When you pinch and zoom, that's just the digital zooming. It's not actual optical. Still pretty cool nonetheless. And you can see the lens. Right, this the is the here. iPhone 5S. Just testing the low light video. Uh, there's probably like a 40 watt light bulb above my head here showing you the light gathering capability and the focusing seems to focus pretty close It's pretty impressive for a phone. It's not bad. There you can see the light source reflected in the laptop. And I'm just tapping to change the point of focus here. So, I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, this is the test of low light using a Standard small sensor digital camera. This is the Nikon AW110. Auto white balance, auto everything. Let's see how well it does the focusing. It's not bad. This is what you would find in your typical point and shoot sensor. You have to be in macro mode. It may not focus this close automatically. Oops, there we go. So it's not bad. I mean, there's the light source. 140 watt bulb. Auto light balance. This is the Sony RX100. Auto white balance. You can see my light source reflected in the laptop there. Now this is a proper digital point and shoot. It does have a one inch sensor so the low light is going to be much better. Focus seems pretty good. This is compared to the iPhone 5S and the smaller censored Nikon 110AW. So the Sony RX100. This is my go-to video camera just because of the video features and the ability to change shutter aperture and ISO as well as having a large one inch sensor. Focus is pretty darn good too, actually, for what it is. And refocusing. iPhone 5S. Another test. Low light using 
my laptop with a red backlit keyboard and a higher resolution screen I believe this is full 1080 it's not bad Nikon AW110, auto everything, showing the red keyboard here, as to be expected, pretty good low light, it's a little flickering on the screen though. As you can see, you can really see a lot more detail here. And that's with the small 1 and 1 over 2 over 3 inch sensor. I can never say that right. I always say 1, 2, 3 sensor. 1 over 2, 1 and 2 over 3 size sensor. Typical small sensor you'd find on a point-and-shoot camera. Nikon AW110. And this is shot with the Sony RX100. As to be expected, excellent, excellent low light. Pretty decent focusing as well. It's a little flickering in the screen, I think. Because I'm not matching the shutter right, but this is on auto everything. Again, the awesome low light performance of the one inch sensor here. There you have it.